In January of 2018, Professor James Hartzell, a neuroscientist, published a report in an American journal claiming that an experiment was conducted to prove that chanting Sanskrit mantras enhances the brain regions associated with cognitive functions such as learning and memory. This is something that most of the Indians already knew, but for the first time there was a scientific evidence that made headlines all over the world at the time. Professor Hartzell was so blown away by the results that he coined the now famous term, the Sanskrit effect. Professor James Hartzell has several academic degrees in Sanskrit. He studied Sanskrit and Indian studies in Harvard for his undergraduate degree. He then went to Columbia and was awarded with double master degree, and one of them was again in Sanskrit and Indian studies. It so happened that Hartzell was in India at a translator's conference at the, the Central Institute of Higher Tibetan Studies, and it was here that an idea of conducting a scientific study about the benefits of Sanskrit chanting on certain portions on brain took shape. Soon, Hartzell and his colleagues from the University of Trento in Italy collaborated with Dr. Tanmay Nath and Dr. Nandini Chatterjee Singh of the National Brain Research Center, NBRC, at Manasar in Haryana. Their study was focused on 42 volunteers. A comparison was being established between the brains of 21 male participants with those of 21 professional Vedic Sanskrit scholars who had memorized the Shukla Yajurveda and were trained since childhood to memorize, recite, and master the exact pronunciation of the ancient texts. The project was funded by the India-Trento Partnership for Advanced Research, a program between India's Department of Science and Technology and Italy's province of Trentino and University of Trento. What he and his research team found using magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, was a massive increase in gray matter density and cortical thickness in the brains of the Vedic scholars after chanting for a stipulated time. He was quoted as saying, in the cerebellum, which is the back lower part of the brain which coordinates both your motor and your cognitive function, matter was denser or more increased compared to the other participants, which was remarkable. Gray matter is the tissue in the brain that contains the cell bodies of neurons and it is responsible for processing and transmitting information. The increased gray matter in these areas of the brain suggests that studying Sanskrit may lead to structural changes in the brain that support cognitive function. He also acknowledged the increase in size of the hippocampus of these Vedic scholars. He said, we had never seen any studies that showed such a large increase in the hippocampus, and this is incredibly important for understanding how memory works in the brain. Additionally, the study found that the longer a person had studied Sanskrit, the greater the differences in brain activity and structure, suggesting that the benefits of studying Sanskrit may be cumulative over time. Chanting Sanskrit shlokas is not just about correct pronunciation, but also emphasizes on the importance of the sound and its variations while reciting them. Sanskrit language, in which many powerful mantras are composed, is also described as a vibrational language. The ancient Indian spiritual masters devised mantras to vibrate at particular frequencies. Each mantra is composed to have a distinct effect. When you chant a mantra, you send vibrations into the universe which creates a powerful ripple effect. There are also enough evidences that shows that proper chanting of mantras with right sounds can rearrange your molecular structure and adjust your experience through the subtle vibrations of the chanting. It is this realignment that allows you to experience the benefits of the vibration. The more focused you are in chanting a mantra, the greater will be its impact on your consciousness. With every passing day, there is more scientific data to corroborate what the ancient rishis knew centuries ago about the deep understanding of sounds, words, and thoughts, spoken and unspoken, as potent tools for the overall well-being. We hope that this video will allow us to pay close attention to the things we say and think and how these words and thoughts can impact us and our loved ones in many ways. Thank you so much for tuning with us today. And if you liked this video, please leave a thumbs along with a comment and do not forget to subscribe to Sacred Encounters. These things really encourage us to get more videos like this. Thank you once again and see you all soon in the next one.